hello, it's only me. Right, someone posted in my group um, an AI, some AI nail art, right? And I was like, let's give it a go. So I've got these two colours. I think it was cream donut and I don't know what the other one was called. Um, this one, but it's gorgeous, but I just showed you on the screen so you can see then. Right, so I'm gonna, this is the image of the, the nails that they posted. Um, I'm using the ombre brush from Madame Glam to create my ombre. Because I've used a dark colour and a light colour, these are a lot more difficult to ombre together doing it this method. A lot of people use a sponge now, or they sponge it on and then they then they sprinkle on acrylic. I have never done that before. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to find out how that works because I think it probably would have been easier. Um, this seemed to take me for if oh, forever. But there we go. Right, so I've done that. I'm going to pop that in the lamp and then I'm going to go ahead and apply a second coat. The second coat needs to be more blended than the first one because the first one gets covered up. So, yeah, you want to make sure that your second coat is, you know, chef's kiss. But mine isn't. <laughs> Again, I've I've taken the excess product off my ombre brush. I squidged it between two, uh, no, between a, a you know, in a, a lint-free wipe, and then I'm just going to go straight in. And it's just just, just a lot of flicking backwards and forwards with my brush. <laughs> I done one side and then I done the other because I just thought it was going to be easier. And then I went across the middle bit, but I'm going to flip forward because. There we go, that's as blended as I'm going to get it because I literally, at this point, I was like, I just can't be bothered now. So initially, I this is the second nail I've done trying to do this design. The first one I've done matte finish. I think I was on autopilot, but the nail is actually shiny in the picture. So we're going to use the Madame Glam No Wipe Top Coat. You can save 30% on Madame Glam using my code NATMOG13. That's going to go in the lamp for 30 seconds. And then I'm going to use the gold gel paint. I initially used Nelkami's embossing gel, but it was more of a sort of, it's kind of like a wishy-washy champagne gold. Whereas this one is more the gold of the design. However, this one is more kind of, it's got like, it's not glitter. It's a bit like, it's a bit like it's got flakes through it of some sort. Can you hear someone's phone? No one wants to hear your music, thanks. Hang on a minute. Okay, we're back in the room with no silly music. Right, so what I was doing is the, the actual image, I'll tell you what it, what it looks like to me. It looks like they've someone's made a massive metallic, no, a massive metal nail, nail charm with almost kind of like a brooch. Imagine a brooch, but they've curved it and they've stuck it on a nail. Um, it looks like that to me. Wouldn't that be amazing if someone made like full nail charms, like nail charms that were like covered the whole nail? <gasps> Wouldn't that be amazing? Oh, I'd love that. Anyway, enough of that, Nats. So basically, what I'm what I'm doing, I'll I'll show you an image of my first one. This was this was the first one. I have to remember to put that in when I edit the video. Um. So yeah, this I say when I edit, I am editing it already. I just edit it on my phone and then I edit it on, on my iMac. So I do like two different bits of editing. And one I do, yeah. So the voiceover I do on my phone. The main lot of editing I do on my phone. And the voiceover I do on my phone. And then I transfer it over to my iMac where I add like titles and things. And I can also speed it up more on my iMac than I can on my phone. Um, and I add the titles and stuff on my iMac and then I upload it from my iMac because it's just easier to YouTube so I don't know why anyone needed to know that but yeah so I'll have to make sure I put the image of the original nail that I've done there somewhere for you to have a look but this is the second one so this time round I'm doing the design on the nail that I didn't do the first time and it's just a lot of it's like a lot of curves and stuffs and swells so i'm just gonna let you 
I'm going to let you watch me doing this because otherwise I'm just going to talk waffle. So I think I've done enough of that. <laughs> okay, go, go, go. Okay, so once I'm happy with how it looks, I will pop it in the lamp for a 60 second cure. And then I'm gonna go over it again with another coat or another layer of this, just to make it look a bit more embossed. And this took ages and it was very annoying. <laughs> so pop that in the lamp again. And then I am gonna use the Preciosa Clear Crystals. These are the round flat back ones from Crystal Parade. You can save 10% using my code NATMUG10. You can also get this Crystal Fix from Crystal Parade 2. So if you were going to do this on this now as it is, um, the crystals wouldn't stay on very long because we're adhering the crystals to a shiny surface. So, I don't know. If you're going to do this on a real person, I'm not quite sure how we do it. But anyway, because this is just a swatch now, I'm just going to do it this way. But normally the... if when you do when you put crystals on you need to have like a, a matte finish or you need two top coats top coat afterwards because then you can butt the top coat right up to the crystals and it just is a bit more extra security uh but we're not going to get that on this now because we're doing it on a shiny surface and we are not top coating again <laughs> oh dearie so anyway i've put crystals everywhere that i could see crystals on that AI nail. Let me know what you think of AI nails. What's your take on AI nails? I know that someone said that they're in one group that banned AI nail art unless you specifically stated that they are AI. And I know some of the designs that they do are not really, they're really not, um, they're not designs that you could just go ahead and recreate. They're just, you know, but yeah. They can still, I could still see how you could get a little bit of inspiration from them. But let me know what you think down below. <laughs> okay, so once I am happy with the amount of crystals that I've put on, I'm going to pop this in the lamp for 60 seconds. And then I'm going to take some isopropyl alcohol. I'm just going to wipe over the crystals just to give them a, it just helps them shine. And then this is it finished. Let me know what you think. It wasn't, I mean, it doesn't really look like the AI, but there we go. I hope you like this video. <laughs> if you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. It's completely free and you cannot change your mind once you've subscribed. You have to stay forever. Thank you, please. God bless. Love you all. And I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye.